Good morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to the Jen Pasilov Show. I was trying to um, find something to use as a tripod. And my friend Lauren, God bless her soul, we've been friends since 30 years, gave me this about, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago I've had this. It's a candle. I mean, you can't burn this guy, right? But I was trying to use him as a tripod. It just, it didn't work. It wouldn't bound on his end. Anyway, so I was laying in bed having my tea because I'm on a cleanse, no coffee from the coffee junkie, which is hard. And I'm having green tea, which you're not meant to on the cleanse. Don't be an asshole and have green caffeinated tea. But I'm being an asshole and I'm probably going to continue to do that. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to roll with it. So I'm mastering this whole videography. I was laying in bed and I had an epiphany, as my friend Elise Ballard would say. I, um, I'm going to have to move. Come with me, guys. Come with me. I realized uh, <clears throat> this idea of waiting. Now, many of you know that have, um, how about this? I'm going to put it on a table. Tripod! Um, many of you that have followed me or read me for a while know that I waited tables for about a bazillion years. I waitressed at the same job for 13 years. Literally waiting, waiting, waitressing, waiting. But I also was waiting, and this is again another um, honesty moment, hashtag truth, waiting always for someone to discover me. Literally. Um, I was sort of pretending to be an actress. At one time, I thought maybe maybe I, I did want to be, but I didn't really want to put the work in. I I kind of I thought someone would come and go, there you are, we've been waiting for you, Jennifer Pasteloff. And that never happened. That never, 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 never happened. And then I changed my life. But I realized I was laying in bed with my green tea and my don't be an asshole mug that I still do that sometimes. It's like I'm waiting for someone. So today's video is the myth that someone will come in and save you or discover you or rescue you or, you know, create you. I mean, yeah, like one in a million that happens, you know, in whatever capacity, whether you're a writer, an actor or in a relationship. But most of the time we have to do it for ourselves, truthfully. And I fiercely believe in the idea of a tribe and connection and community, which is why I do the work that I do, this page, my workshops, my site, the manifestation. But I, I was, you know, in my head thinking, wow, truth bomb here. You know, someone's going to like buy me and then help me make these videos and do this and, and discover me and then, you know, help me so I'm not spinning my wheels so much and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And I went, oh my God, I'm doing the waiting thing again. So maybe like all those years of waitressing was a metaphor. It was also very literal. I really went in there every day. But stop waiting. It's not going to happen, guys. You got to get up out of bed. And boy, did I not want to get up today. I've been struggling lately. I really have. It's been some dark days and I did not want to get out of bed. But that's not going to do anything, right? I mean, yeah, once in a while, honor what you need. But laying in bed all day, waiting around for someone to discover me or you, someone to finally realize how great we are, is not going to happen. You have to do the work, right? I'm sitting here with this. This... Order this book, please pre-order this book, The Small Backs of Children. Lydia Yaknovich, who's like my hero, my love, my sister, my friend, my teacher. You think she waits around for someone to discover that she's a writer? No! Waits around for someone to give her permission to use her voice? No, right? So stop waiting. I know I'm getting really impassioned. This is not coffee. This is sans coffee and wine and sugar. And then here, look at all these things around me. Fuck your fears. Being, tr uh, what? Being Trish on Instagram. Fuck your fears. Fuck your fears. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. I'm going to stop saying stop waiting, but stop waiting. 